All right, guys, become a member on our YouTube channel and you'll automatically be in our weekly raffle for our giveaway of basketballs. We got these dope Franklin basketballs we're giving away all season. Thank you guys so much for the support with this channel. Let's get into our sports talk. The NBA fined James Harden $100,000 for calling James, I mean, Daryl Morey a liar. Yeah. 100 k okay. Yeah, was, uh, but you are you are demonizing the franchise that you just decided to – to, to, to spend your last year of basketball with, you feel me? So you are obligated to them. And for you to go trash them just because you're trying to get out of your contract, just because you haven't, you say you have beef with their, no, you don't got no beef with Daryl Murray for it. You just don't want to be there, bro. You just want to go back home. So, I, I mean, I don't, I don't blame them. A hundred thousand, don't go demonize the squad just because you're trying to lead the way. He, what he's doing right now to me is making me upset because he's he's letting everybody know, yo, even when you're in your contract, bro, you can get up out of it. Just go crazy. Go extreme, and they'll let you go. And that's not cool, bro. That's not cool. All it could for me to use a quitter. <laughs> we've been saying this. We've been saying this for a long time, dog. All right, that's all it confirmed for me. I mean, I mean, hey, look, and through this whole process, where is where's Joel and B? He, he talked all that him. about, you know what I'm saying? Like, he oh, with me and Harden. Me and Harden. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what happened to that? You and know? He's trying to get up out of there, too. And B <laughs> look like he's trying to get up out of there. Too. <laughs> Wait, he's real like, quiet. Like, time out. Time out. Time out. You mean to tell me, B.A., you're going to sit here live in front of the American public this afternoon and say you don't have a problem with Adam Silver in the NBA finding James Harden $100,000 for saying something that really could be true. We don't even, uh, Daryl Morey could that, be a liar. Did you just hear, you what, you just said? Did you just hear what you just said? You said could be. It's not, it's not is true. It could be. And so we but figured it out. That's what it is. It's a hype. It's, it's oh. a. It's 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 a uh, whatever the word that I'm, I'm missing right now. But it's not. It's not in stone. It's not true. It's not true until proven that it is. So what it definitely seems like is a due process to be done. So just like Seven said, the NBA fined James Harden a hundred thousand dollars for speaking what he believes is his proof. Is his is his truth. Everyone perception is you know saying um, is a person's reality. So it's due process because the NBA, the NBPA did what they were supposed to do, and they set a grievance in front. You know, that was going to be go to an arbitrator. The arbitrator is going to look at it. It's going to run it back. But now what we take in consideration is the reason he got fined $100,000 is because this is from habitual line steppers that have did this throughout the course of the years to where they have to put it in the CBA to sit up and say, this is what you're going to get max if you do this yourself. So that's why he got the max because this has been something that's been going on, and now they put it in in the in the in in, in the rule book, in the policies, and in the um, agreement to say, hey, we're what we're not going to do is do this to our organizations that that basically sets a precedent. And now he's getting smacked on his hand like we used to do back in the day for this for um, being disobedient, which I hate to put it in that way, especially when you're talking about a black man compared to what is predominantly a white um, uh, organization. But that's basically what we got going on. He could have opted out. to the bosses, bro. He could have opted sorry. out with his last year. But what he do? Oh, I'm going to go in and then a month or two later, you're going to trip out. Like, no, nah, we ain't doing not, that. Yeah. Not, that's but why he's calling the uh, boy a liar. The fact that he might have been lied to. Bro, let me tell you something. Yeah, James he was lied, lied to. I, without a doubt, he was lied to. Hey, Daryl Moore, he was lied to. James Harden <laughs> told you I was going to go over there and I'm going to do numbers and I'm going to get you <laughs> He ain't getting past the second round. We're not doing this, bro. I'm putting this on him too. No, I'm not saying okay. Darren Murray is wrong. I'm not saying and, that. And, and then also too, man, put your put your grown pants on, dog. This ain't the first time you've been lied to, bro. It's business. What are we no. doing? No. You, James, you know what? James, James, take, James he needs to take his grown man dice. pants off. He needs to. He gonna have to sleep with Daryl Morey's wife. He gonna have to take the email Doka route to get out of Philly, bro. He gonna have to violate yo to get out of Philly, bro. It's, it's, enough is enough. You done took a hundred thousand dollars away from this man, and he's still stuck on the roster, bro. This is he got personal. It. You 
You he did, yeah, he got it. Well, come on, bro. Don't <laughs> for that, bro. He paid thirty-six million dollars to be yeah, there. What you think right. he promised yo, Daryl Murray? What you think he promised him, bro? I bet you he promised him, yo. When he was in, when he was in Brooklyn on the whole team that he should have still been on. I guarantee you, he was like, yo, I don't want to be here because of Joe Sy and, and all of this, whatever Kyrie, whatever <laughs> business. He, by, hey, backstabbing Brooklyn. Talking to Daryl Murray, talking about, yo, let me get over there. I promise, hey, my, my hamstring's going to be healthy. I'm going to have my weight <laughs> and everything. He lied, bro. He lied. I don't doubt. I, I'm very sure Daryl Murray lied to him. I ain't going to say Daryl Murray lied to him. Let's, let's put it in perspective. James opted in to where he could have opted out and made himself a free agent where we wouldn't even be having this conversation. James right. opted in. Assuming that he was going to be able, maybe Daryl Morey did or did not say, hey, you opt in, we'll do what we do so we can get something back for you, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate you coming in. And that's what happened when he went to the bosses, as uh, said to be saying, he took it to the bosses and the bosses was like, we don't want James for that. You crazy. Like, hey, no, nah, we need something else. And they couldn't make it happen. So in state is contract, you, we owe you 38 million, you owe us, some, you owe us 82 more games at minimum. Yeah, he could have he could have been getting fifty to fifty five million dollars a year if he would have stayed put in Brooklyn. But I guess he didn't want it because he didn't like it. They said something about the uh, salary. The reason why he uh, opted in was that to be traded, it would fit under the salary cap, and then he'd be able to resign for that max deal. That's why he opted back into it. Yeah, yeah. The CBA uh, is next year. I think it's coming up next year. The new CBA that they uh, that they created. No, they signed it this year. They signed it this year. That's why they that's why they was able to hit um, James Harden with a hundred thousand. What if Houston? What if Houston really didn't want him? You know what I'm saying? That's I'm pretty sure he, they don't. Talking about getting traded. They didn't want like, him. Exactly. He may wasn't. He may refuse to deal with him. Yeah. He, did, he, he did the same thing that he did. Like he did to Houston. Right. What he did with like, all of them young, with all them youngsters on that squad, bro. <clears throat> You going? You bringing him? One of the most toxic players ever Man. in the history of the NBA to that young team. That strip club would have been lit, though. <laughs> it would have been lit. <laughs> Onyx, Onyx, Onyx would have went crazy. Yeah. Onyx you know would have been wild. Onyx <laughs> wild. Them trailer burgers and those strip clubs would have been a wrap. 